So let's see the software now. The first thing that we do when we get in, click to please connect to a device and Xtool P2S device popped up. All right, so the P2S is connected. That's a picture of the inside of the P2S, so I know that it's correct. And uh, it says Xtool P2S right there. So I'll close that now. Easy Set Panel is a new thing, newish thing that um, puts the, the settings here for your cuts and your engraves. All right, and here we have Optical Path set up. So that's where I'm going to take you through the process of testing and then setting up the Optical Path, which is the, the new red laser that's in there. So here we go, the laser being produced by the laser tube. Uh, in the figure to ensure that the laser beam reaches the laser module you need to test whether it passes properly through the first second and third optical path holes get masking tape ready before testing all right have my masking tape and now i'm ready to go click start screwdriver included hex key included masking tape not included i believe that it is though there was a little bit of masking tape in the package uh, but I'm going to use my own anyhow. Move the laser module to the front right corner of the machine. And then you just click to move the laser module. So now the laser module moved up to the front corner by itself. It says stick masking tape on the hole on the left side of the laser module Press the tape in to allow you to see the outline of the hole. There's a little diagram there. I'll take a piece of this masking tape, put it over that, and then I press it in a little bit just so I can see where that hole is. Then I click next. Close the lid of the machine and click pulse. Check the mark left by the laser beam on the masking tape, select actual state, click next. All right, I pulsed it. Now I open it. Yeah, that's off. So I'm glad I did this alignment. That's supposed to be in the center of the circle there. Okay, so now I'll follow the next instructions. It says check the mark left by the laser beam, select the actual state, and click next. The diameter of the green area illustrated is half that of the hole. If the mark appears within the green area, select inside. Um, I don't think that's inside, so I'm going to click, click not inside. You need to test the laser beam on the three optical path holes. Set up the optical path. Guidance is provided for each step. Start. Okay, remove the slide cover. All right, remove the slide cover. Maybe not that violently. Done. Next, stick masking tape on that hole in the back. i am got to take this one off while I do that. So put that one back there in the back. Pressed it in so I could see the hole. Close the lid of the machine. Click pulse. All right, that one looks good, dead center. Next, now I'm going to put some masking tape over the next hole. Click next. Pulse it. This one I can't see until I open it up, so... Open it up and see. That looks pretty good. Pretty close to dead center on that one, too. This one. 
check whether the guide rail is in the most outward position. If it isn't, click not in the most outward position. Yes, it is. All right, remove that masking tape. Move on to the next. Now we're gonna retry this third hole again. Close the lid. Next. And it's off to the right. So click center right. Okay, now as it shows, I'm going to loosen these three hex screws on the mirror mount. I'm not taking these all the way out, we're just loosening them. All right, I'll go next. Then a red spot is automatically enabled to help you identify the position. You can't see this, but right now there is a red spot right there on that hole. And now it has some directions. By the second mirror, turn the upper right screw 45 degrees counterclockwise. That's the bigger hex now. And there, black is facing up, so we're going to go 45 degrees for a clockwise. Right there. And then turn the lower right screw 45 degrees on a clockwise. Done. Close the lid of the machine and click Pulse. And so now here's the great part. At this red dot here, and I can just live see how it changes as I move these screws. Pretty close right there, but I'm going to get it dead center. All right, I went the wrong way. To me, right there looks like dead center. Not to you, you're at an angle, so let me pull you out and take you over here. And now that red dot looks right in the center. That was pretty easy. So that's the new red dot to help you align your mirrors. That was fast. That, if I wasn't messing with the camera, that would have taken two minutes to do the entire thing. So now I'm going to go back into the software. Optical path test passed. Done. That's it. Take that masking tape. Make sure I didn't leave any masking tape on. And now we should be good to go. All right. So that's the new red laser optical path right there. Uh, very easy. Got through it really quickly. Nice work, X tool on making that so straightforward, taking a really horrible process and making it completely bearable. That is great work. That's great engineering.